now you can see the Central Valley down there, but that was before that, that was all covered in trees. I mean, right. there, was, yep. there was no way you could see the Central Valley from this area. Mm -hmm. When the fire came in, it came from over this ridge and through this forest and just took out this whole section of our community. And we understand the fire was close to 2,600 degrees Fahrenheit. So it basically just melted everything. Because I think if nothing is really done, it's just going to disappear completely. All our ancient sequoia groves are going to be gone. The whole forest is going to be gone. I mean, the loss of the house is terrible, but it doesn't compare to the loss of this amazing ecosystem that was around it. It's just, there's no comparison. Ideally, we want bits that are on the tips because this is the newer growth and the stuff that's the furthest and the highest is the better stuff. And what the, the project does, the Archangel project, is they take this and they can make roots grow out of this. And hopefully this can turn into a new tree. And once it has its little roots and it has a little bit more size, they'll come back and they'll plant this. We're transplanting baby sequoia seedlings, their baby seedlings, into the leech tubes. So to give them a good start so their roots can grow along and then they'll transplant it, be transplanted into a bigger tube. When they're big enough, they'll be transplanted to the wildlands. So then, after a thousand years, <laughs> then the trunk gets wider. The branches are going to go up higher in the tree and they'll become thicker and then they'll have a whole new canopy up top. My grandkids will see it. It's the next generations too.